So what do we mean by trigonometry? When you first see the word, it's natural to kind of break it up this way, right? Because we know that tri means three, and metri refers to measurement. But this gon part, it doesn't, doesn't seem to really fit. Well, it starts to make a little more sense if you think about pentagons, hexagons, octagons. The gon part here comes from the Greek word, ancient Greek word gonia, which referred to a corner or an angle. So if we combine those, we get trigon, which is an old school way of saying a triangle. And that makes the whole thing the study of measurements in a triangle. And so that's where we're going to start uh, our conversation. Specifically a right triangle. So I've got an, an example here for us to work with. Uh, and I've labeled the sides in the usual way, A, B, and C. And I've labeled the angle down here with this symbol. That's the Greek letter theta. In trigonometry, we're often going to use uh, Greek letters to label our angles. So what we're really interested in here isn't so much the individual side lengths. We're interested in the ratio of pairs of lengths. For example, one uh, ratio we're going to talk about is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Now, when we talk about these ratios, it's all done with respect to a specific angle within the triangle. So if we're looking at my angle theta here, the hypotenuse, okay, obviously that's C. The opposite side, if you start at this angle and you go over to the opposite side of the triangle, that's the side I'm talking about. Okay, so the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, that's going to be A over C. And there's a name for this. Right? We call this ratio the sine of the angle. Or there, obviously there, there's other pairs we could talk about here. For example, we could talk about the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. When we say the adjacent side, we mean the side uh, here. That's actually a, a part of that angle that we're referring to. So that's going to be B over C. Uh, and that ratio also has a name. We call it the cosine of the angle. All right, so i got one more that we're going to talk about, right? We're, we're going to talk about the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. That's going to be A over B. And our name for that is going to be the tangent. Now, math people, we like our notations. We like, our, we like our abbreviations, right? Um, so what we're going to do is instead of writing out sine of the angle, cosine of the angle, that gets old really fast, right? we're going to abbreviate it this way. Right? Sine is going to be S-I-N and then the angle. Cosine will be C-O-S and then the angle. And tangent will be T-A-N and then the angle. So these are the three base trigonometric functions. And these are the three that we're going to be focusing on uh, here in this class. So let's take an example. I have a specific right triangle here, and uh, I filled in some side lengths. You, you're welcome to check me on this. You go to the Pythagorean theorem, you put those numbers in, you'll see that uh, those side lengths do, in fact, form a right triangle. What I want to do uh, is I want to identify these three ratios for our triangle. So uh, I'm working with the same angle down here theta. And what I want to know is what is the sine of theta? Well, that's the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. The opposite side's length is 12 and the hypotenuse is 13. So that's the sine of that angle. Uh, we can do this again down here. The cosine is going to be the adjacent side length. That's 5 over 13. And then finally, the, the tangent, that's the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. That is 12 fifths. And there's, a, there's our three values, right? The actual numeric values for this specific triangle. Now, there's nothing special about that angle theta, right? I could have done all of this with the other angle as well. For example, let, let's take a look at that. Let's say I labeled this angle... Angle B, sometimes we'll use uh, Roman letters, right? Usual English letters like we, uh, we've done in the past when we're talking about triangles. So in this case, the sine of B would be still the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, but the opposite side has changed. The side opposite B is this sign here. So this will be 5 thirteenths. The cosine of B. All right, well, now the adjacent side, uh, that's this side here. So this is 12 over 13. 
And finally, uh, the tangent of B, that's the adjacent divided by the opposite, that's going to be 5 twelfths. So the next section, we're going to take a look at how you can find these trigonometric ratios for specific angles. Now, there's a few special triangles where we, we do know the exact values, and they're usually going to have some square roots in them. 99% uh, of the time, you're going to have to get out your calculator. Let's talk a little bit about how you do that, and then we'll see how we can take the next step and use these values to do what's called solving triangles. Right, so what I'm going to do is we'll be given some of the measurements of the parts of a triangle. And then we'll see how we can use these trigonometric values to find the lengths of the missing parts.